Hey guys, it is Codexual here with another tutorial for the hard drive for the PlayStation 4. Now, a lot of you are having troubles with the um, with the hard drive here. So, to give you an answer for everything and all those troubles, some users were actually have the 4.50 firmware update on their consoles and some users didn't. Um, so there was a bit of like a beta testing and that was forced on some users for the uh, to get further feedback of how everything was running. I guess in the terms of agreement with Sony PlayStation, they're allowed to do so. But uh, that explains um, why people were able to get it working and other people weren't. Now, since the 4.50 firmware has been released, everyone should now be able to use their external hard drive. So, as long as it's a 3.0 USB, not a 2.0, but a 3.0 with a 256 gigabytes between eight terabytes then you're golden so the first thing what we want to do is if it's not picking up with the ps4 whatsoever you want to connect to it with a computer and you want to reformat it so if you got a mac look it up of in these keywords how to reformat a external hard drive on a mac and the same as a linux if you're a linux user then you should probably know this because this is it's Linux. <laughs> you gotta be a nerd if you like Linux, if you're into it. Um, but however, we are using Windows. So we're gonna go ahead and right click. We're gonna click on Format. And right here, this is my hard drive that we're formatting. And it's a 2 terabyte. And it says 1.8.1, but basically it's a 2 terabyte. And we want to do a quick format, but you also want to choose the XFAT. If it shows FAT32 or FAT, choose that. That is highly recommended. Um, XFAT, FAT32, or FAT. Then go ahead and click on Start. Then, okay. Then let's close out of that. And then we'll go ahead and get rid of the desktop mode here. And we'll go ahead and plug in our external hard drive into the PS4 and as you can see this is live I'm moving around so we're gonna go ahead and plug this into the PS4 turn back on the hard drive now on the top left a message will appear and if it doesn't however you wanna go to your settings then to your device, devices, USB storage devices, click on that. Then right here, this is mine. So your, um, your name for the hard drive might say something else, but mine says a J Micron. And we're going to go ahead and click on that. Then we're going to format as extended storage. And it says you can install applications in extended storage. However, saved data screenshots video clip will be saved to system only. So it's just your saved data, your screenshot, and your video clips. So the applications refer to your games, Netflix, Hulu, stuff like that, Twitch, YouTube. That will all be saved. Especially games. I'll say that again. Games will be installed on your external hard drive. Go ahead and click on next. This device will be formatted as extended storage. When you format this device, all data on it will be deleted. So we already formatted onto the computer. But again, um, if you just plug it into your system and it's able to pick it up, uh, this will show. It's giving you that warning that all data is going to be deleted. And yes, we want to continue formatting. Do not disconnect this device. All right, this device has been formatted as extended storage. Applications will now be installed in extended storage. To change the install location for applications, go to the settings, storage, and then select applications install location in the options menu. Second, to stop using the extended storage, press and hold the PS button to display the quick menu and then select stop using this extended device. So basically what that means is if you have another um, 
hard drive that you have with other games you got to disable this one currently uh, properly it's kind of like um, when you plug in a flash drive into your computer you always have to safely eject it if you're aware of that method basically it's kind of like this but for the PlayStation so we're gonna go ahead and back out and let's go to our storage so it's right there awesome so anything that we're gonna install such as games I mean a lot of you were having troubles problems with games so games yes I said games and I'm 100% sure this method will work for you and we do have games in our um, our default hard drive that's currently installed into the PS4 as noted it says applications and it shows all these games right here including you know Netflix but uh, Left 4 Dead or excuse me Dead or Alive that's a game Final Fantasy 14 that's a game etc 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 so now let's go ahead and actually install a game um, so I currently have padlocks onto my account this is my main account we'll go ahead and go switch users onto my friends account here and does he have any padlocks we'll go to his library and we'll go to his purchases uh, let's download overwatch So right now I'm just downloading Overwatch from his um, profile. I'll be able to play Overwatch on his, his account. So now it's going to install 30 minutes, 4 gigs. How come it's 8 gigs for the Xbox and for the... Okay, I'm not going to question. But now what we want to do is go to these settings and go to our storage and it says calculation and it says application and right there now it says 16 gigs <laughs> but this confirms that it is on the extended storage aka your um, external hard drive under your applications overwatch voila so this confirms that you have the game onto your hard drive so, without further ado, um, in my previous video, I do apologize, um, but I was misinformed about a lot of things, but some people were able to get the games, and some people are, aren't able to get the games. It was randomly selected of who has got the firmware update. I didn't know that I had the firmware update, so I did a little research here for you. So I did some research um, and it took me quite some time to actually figure out what was going on and all this other stuff so for everyone that was commenting and all that stuff and didn't get a reply back it's I'm here now let's go ahead and go through with this you guys are in safe hands now as long as you follow this tutorial you'll be fine so with anything else if you guys got any questions or anything like that, drop a comment down below or join our Discord. I'm more active on Discord since I'm not always on my video games here. I'm always on Discord since it's on my mobile and I'm always out and about. So if you guys need any tech support, join our Discord server. Anyways, you guys have a awesome weekend. Play the games that you want instead of deleting them. And downloading them again, because not everyone has fast speed for the internet. But, again, enjoy. Take care.